my youtube family today we will be making ginger beer and sorry drink mainly because it's the christmas season i honestly mostly use ginger for tea ginger is said to be originated from southeast asia the main component in ginger is gingerol there are a few proven benefits of ginger firstly nausea if you are going on a boat ride for instance when i went to Karaku, i felt really sick halfway there to avoid feeling nauseated i should have just drank some ginger tea studies have also proven it helps with morning sickness it helps with menstrual cramps it helps lower blood sugar and lower cholesterol the bad cholesterol which is ldl it helps fight infection it consists of anti-inflammatory properties it reduces pain associated with osteoarthritis. It has antioxidants, which helps in the prevention of disease. It aids with indigestion. It allows the stomach to be emptied quicker. So here I'm just scraping the ginger. We are using the rhizome, which basically was in the soil. So we're just scraping it out to ensure all the dirt comes out. We then grate the ginger. It turned out to be approximately half cup. The mug uses 2550 ml. We place the water in the pot to boil. As soon as it starts to boil, we add in the half cup ginger. This is my liquor helper. We let it boil with the ginger for approximately 15 minutes and then we turn off the stove, cover it and just leave it to let the heat do the rest. Once it is cooled down, we strain the water to remove all ginger sediments not everybody does this part but we love to add fresh lime juice it just gives it a better taste in our opinion so we add 10 ml of lime juice and two cups of sugar and that's how we make our ginger beer so now we're moving on to roselle or better it called sorrel I know I waste no time with my videos. Most of the sorrel was white, very few reds. So I'm just making that quick disclaimer before I get accused of having watered down sorrel, as they like to say in the Caribbean. So it would not be your traditional red. This plant also helps protect against bacteria and it contains antioxidants. It is said to help lower blood pressure and it also aids the liver. The wrong area is what we would be putting to dry so we can have some seeds for next year please god once it becomes dry the seeds fall out you can also place the sorrel to dry these are some that i placed for persons who requested while it was growing so i placed some to dry and this is how it looks when it's dried in case anybody was wondering but today we are using some from the freezer so i use eight cups of water 10 cloves were added because in my opinion again it tastes a million times better it allows the sorrel taste to come out even more once the water starts boiling the sorrel is added the stove then gets cut off and we cover the pot and we just let it sit on the stove until it's cool once it's cooled down we strain it and add in our sugar we placed in two cups of cane sugar and that's all they both taste really good i know people have their own little way of doing their thing and this is ours and we love it just like that thank you everyone for watching wishing everyone a happy holiday